Now the Ontario government is calling the Para Pan Am Games the most accessible ever. But what is it actually like to try and see some of these sporting events if you have a disability? Critics say organizers have fallen short. Christina Stevens reports. Tickets to certain Para Pan Am sports are a hot commodity. It's telling me that no tickets are matching my search. In some cases, even hotter if you need accessible seating. Try changing ticket type. Not an option. It's frustrating for a number of reasons. Not the least of which is that by the time the new Pan Am, Para Pan Am venues opened for the games, they were already outdated as far as accessible seating. As of January 1st, 2015, the Ontario Building Code requires a minimum 3% accessible seating, something that had been in the works for years. Unfortunately, the Para Pan Am Games failed to um, capitalize on that. Instead, they built to the old Ontario minimum. Toronto 2015 organizers say they were following international Paralympic guidelines, but in a previous statement said the venues meet or exceed the industry standard of a 1% capacity of accessible seats. That was June 18th. Since then, we've repeatedly asked for a breakdown of numbers venue by venue, with no response. So we went to the minister in charge of both infrastructure and accessibility issues. Why, if you're planning to increase it to 3%, would they build the old standard of 1%? What we've achieved is the most accessible games ever put on that's not the, That's not the question. That's a pretty good achievement. Um, that wasn't the question. Have we, have we got it perfect at this point in time? I would suggest that we're going to continue to learn. Toronto 2015. Other shortfalls have cropped up. After Global News reported the official app wasn't accessible to those who are visually impaired, it was fixed. From slash 49 million but there are also problems with the website. I gave up and I asked a sighted friend of mine to buy tickets. He says his group's recommendations were not acted upon by organizers. While back at Spinal Cord Injury Ontario... We weren't contacted at all about venues. He says they're always happy to help. Christina Stevens, Global News.